Hi guys, how are you keeping today? It is Tuesday, I was nearly going to say it was Monday, but yes, it was a bank holiday, so I'm a bit lost on the days. I'm heading out to my friend Amy right now, and I'm just gonna pop into Tesco's first, pick up a few treats to bring out. I think I'm gonna bring Chewy for a little walk first. I just did my makeup today, because I was feeling, I don't know, I have like these big, two big horns in the middle of my face, and my skin just doesn't look great so I said I put on a bit of makeup just make myself feel a little bit better didn't do anything crazy at the weekend nothing majorly exciting I stayed in all weekend I had plans on going out for the bank holiday but then I was just kind of like ugh, am I even that bothered no not really so I ended up just staying in and just having a chilled out night with the fam and watching movies and stuff like that I just put on a fresh coat of tan but yeah I need to go put my camera on charge it's flashing at me so while I'm out for my little walk with Chewbacca then hopefully it will charge up so yeah right well that's what I'm gonna do now we're gonna gonna go get his lead and bring him out so sunny so I'm gonna take full advantage of the nice weather and get out into the nice spring fresh air all the snow has melted away and I know a lot of you guys were like giving out to me the other day you're like oh my god you curse us the sun is back blame my nanny and all the other older ladies who are like oh yeah if the snow is still in the ground it's coming back because it wasn't me it, maybe it's like an old irish like fable or something i don't know so i'll talk to you guys in a little bit hey chewy so we're just back from our walk aren't we chewy and he's out of breath go and get a drink for yourself go over get your drink go get a drink or just take to the bed whichever you'd prefer <laughs> not really sure what to do eh chew I think you should get a drink and then I'll give you a treat. While I was out for the walk, a package came through the door from Kits and they sent out some eyebrow stuff. So, what have we got here? If you are struggling to keep those brow hairs in place all day, Kiss NY Pro Top Brow Range have the perfect products for you. Okay, so they sent out one of their top brow cream pomades i think and this is in the shade taupe then they sent out this product which is uh ooh, what is this a brow gel mascara which i'm interested in trying that and then we've got this product here which is the brow highlight duo and it just has a double ended stick and then they gave me a spoolie 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 for your brows so that's all the products there and a bit of information on them just if you're looking for it there you go there's a bit of information on the products very interesting can't wait to try so i'm finally on the road oh my god it's super warm today which I'm not complaining about because I'm happy. Like it's not like boiling, boiling hot, but it's much hotter than normal days. And we've had the snow for so long. Oh my, what's coming through there? And I'm just gonna go to Tesco's now and pick up a few little bits to bring out to Amy and the kids. Bye bye house, bye bye Chewy. While I'm out, I might as well look in pennies because I need to get bits and bobs for Santorini and I need to get like bikinis and like shorts and stuff. So I might just see what they have in pennies because I haven't been in there like in a couple of weeks. When was the last one there? Last week, a week and a half ago, maybe two weeks ago. Last year I picked up loads of bikinis, so I have tons of them. Some I haven't even worn yet, so there's no point in me getting any. I need to put the window down. I'll put this one down so you won't be able to hear like wind blowing. So when I have a look for shorts and nice t-shirts and stuff like that and flip-flops, the usual, and anything decent or anything nice something different in there and then I'll probably just go on to ASOS and just do online shopping because ASOS always you know comes through for me I need to get my car washed as well it's so manky dirty my neighbor got a brand new red Hyundai and I was looking at her car this morning it was so shiny and just it looks absolutely fabulous and I'm like looking at the Audi and like oh god we need to get you into a bet quickly oh my god I can't get over how beautiful it is today what an amazing spring day I'm so happy and Amy told me that she planted all her laurel trees around her house as well now so I can't wait to go out and see what they all look like all you know planted and ready to go I also want to pop into deals I think because they have my favorite chips the occasions crisps and they're like a 
herb and cheese flavor and they come in like different shapes and they're like my favorite 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 crisps at the moment but every time i buy them like everyone in my house loves them as well they're just inhaled so i might go get myself a pack for later on how did you guys celebrate your saint patrick's day did you have a nice day did you do anything interesting did anyone go to the parade what else do you do on saint patrick's day do you have any traditions some of you guys might not be aware i don't know if i spoke about this in my last video but i absolutely detest saint patrick's day i just i'm not a big fan and i had my reasons I'm after missing my turn. Uh, oh, this is what happens when you're too busy yakking. I'm after missing my turn. Okay, let's go around the round around here. People probably think I'm nuts. Too busy talking to myself and not paying attention to where I'm actually driving. Thankfully, there was a roundabout conveniently right there. Did you grow green daffodils? I used to love doing that when I was a kid. We used to put green food coloring into the water, put the daffodils in them, and then they would be green for St. Patrick's Day. I used to love doing that in school. I feel like the months are flying, flying by. I am just, I can't keep up with the time. I got an amazing opportunity last week from a brand. I don't know if I can talk about it yet, but I'm going to London in 10 days with the brand. You'll find out more, I'll vlog it all, and I'm just really, really excited for that. And then I got another opportunity to go to an amazing country. And I'm still contemplating on whether or not I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna talk about it too much, but it is a country that I've never been to in my life and a country that I'm dying to go and visit and it's like 16 hours away. But I got an amazing opportunity to go there and I, if you know me in real life, I'm not a big flyer. Like I don't mind flying to London on my own. I, I presume like when I'm going with the brand, I'll be going with other people, but I don't like flying. It's the taking off and landing I'm terrified of. Um, once I'm in the air, I'm fine. So I think like a 16 hour flight is gonna, I'm gonna really have to get like some balls because I'm just, oh look that little doggy looks like Chewy. That's so cute. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna have to really get my wits about me because I don't know how I'm gonna be on, you know, such a long flight. And there are no indicators on that car. That model must not come with them. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke that my dad always says, wow, I'm turning into my daddy. It is an amazing trip and it's two major countries that are steeped in history and ones that I am really interested in going to, but like that, the flight was kind of putting me off, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I'm just at my location right now, my destination rather, so I will talk to you guys. Oh God, I hate underground car parks. <laughs> that was a bit dodge, that was a bit dodge. I'll talk to you guys in a bit. back at the car and that was a bit of an unsuccessful shopping trip I'll explain in a moment okay so that was unsuccessful um, for a number of reasons <laughs> the first being that pennies has nothing in it at all and I just kind of took you a little bit around the 
Where's my sunglasses gone? Just took you a bit around the beauty section because they have really nice things in at the moment. And I noticed the foundation I reviewed is almost out of stock. Not saying I had anything to do with it, but I just think it's really popular at the moment. A lot of people are reviewing it and stuff online. So I'm glad to see that there's a good foundation in pennies and people are finding out about it and stuff. How I feel about pennies today. I'm going to a festival as well in May, May or June, I can't remember. I'm going to a few festivals this year, but one, the soonest one is coming up the end of May, beginning of June, somewhere thereabouts. So I was trying to find wellies or anything that I could bring with me. Wellies are not in yet, and I just hope that they do bring wellies in because, hello, even though it's a festival, you know that there's going to be so much like rain and mud. It's just, it's just the way it goes. So I'm going to a festival, a few festivals, but just I have one booked or one kind of set in stone, I suppose. To get out of the car, my window is broke, and I already explained this. I have to go and get a new motor. How fun! off to Tesco's now because it's the next stop and then I am going out to Amy's. I'll get out there eventually. I think I'll just go get her some flowers because I haven't seen her in a bit so flowers would be nice. Flowers make everybody's day just so much better. I want to get some donuts because where did I put my sunglasses? I'm like a danger here. Hang on. Let's put the sunglasses on first. Then we can control the situation. My god. There's no cars around. Don't worry guys. I'm not driving recklessly. I picked up. Oh yeah. Why was my trip unsuccessful? Yeah, Penny's didn't really have anything amazing in there, to be honest. The other thing was, didn't see anything I liked nice for the festival. Uh, they're just not in stock yet. I Maybe we'll go back next week. That was a much more successful shopping trip. I got my occasion crisp, so happy. And then I got some donuts, one for me, one for Amy. And then I got the little jam ones for the kitties. And then I got her some flowers. I got her lilies. So that's what I got in Tesco's. Much, 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 much better than trying to get my occasion crisps and deals and failing. So next I have one more job to do and then I'm done for the day. What's going on here? Let's put on some Kygo. <laughs> Or my battery is flashing so it's probably gonna die but when I'm out with Amy it's like it's not gonna make much of a difference because I'm gonna be out with her chatting away so I won't be vlogging anyway when I was in Penny's I went to the Catrice counter and they have loads of new things in or else I'm just like living under a rock Catrice usually send me like pure and stuff like that but I didn't get any of those products in pure so perhaps they're brand 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 spanking new and I'm excited so I'll show you what I got later on but I got like a lightening and darkening thing for your foundation which I'm very excited about and I've heard Casey Holmes rave about that so it mustn't be out too too long and then I also picked up these like glitter shadows you can see them on the back of my hand they're kind of like the steel of magnificent metals I was just drawn to them there was liquid liners there was new mascaras and stuff so I just picked up a couple of bits and bobs and I'll show you them later nothing too extravagant now nothing like mind-blowing I suppose but I will probably pick up a few more bits because I'm in dire need to do in dire need of doing a new updated Catrice one brand tutorial because I haven't done one in about a year and I know you guys like the more affordable one brand tutorials I'm nearly at my destination oh my sweet baby Jesus that kid just ran out in front of the street like and his mother's on her phone that's brilliant because if I was going obviously I would never go above the speed limit in a like pedestrian area but if I was going a bit faster I would have clipped him and it just kind of is alarming kids not thought to look left and right oh man oh my god I am baking alive in here it's super 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 warm and I should not be complaining because summer is on its way and I am so excited so many exciting things coming up so many exciting trips I'm just living for life right now. I'm just so happy with everything and content living my life. And everything's just going so well at the moment. I can't ask for better things in my life. It's just, just really good. That's all I can say. I'm gonna film tomorrow because I need to film tomorrow. I have no videos left. I have 
think one pre-filmed and that's it and I need to start making schedules because if I'm going on this trip it's gonna be at the end of it's gonna be around April and I'm gonna have to pre plan videos because I'm probably going to be gone out of the country for a little bit and then obviously I'm going to go to Santorini and I'm going to be gone to Santorini for a little while as well I'm hoping to be there for over a week anyway and then I need to plan trips to London I want to go to Rome this year I have just so many things I want to do I'm thinking about upgrading my car I don't know I don't know because I'm obviously saving for a deposit for a house as well and stuff like that so I don't want to go too cray cray but I just have a lot of things that I want to do and I'm just really excited I'm really excited this year is gonna be my year and I said it from January and it has already been my year this year is going fantastically well I've just so many plans and so many things I want to do I want to bring you guys along journeys really exciting thing I'm gonna plan things and live now and just not that I wasn't living before you know but like I was miserable for the last six months I've just been so unhappy and now I'm just kind of like feck it just go and do what you want to do and you know it's time now to pick yourself up and you know dust yourself off and no more been upset and you know what would have been because what will be will be and as my mom always says what's for you will never pass you and it will come back around for whatever's meant to be and if it was not if it doesn't come back around it was never meant to be in the first place but something better is on its way it's all about the law of attraction oh, so I'm at my destination now I keep saying that I have reached your destination let's go, just go down here and hope to God that there is a little spot waiting for me because if there is that would just be delightful no there isn't okay well we'll go further afield and we'll find one oh there's a lady going by with her newborn baby and two little kitties and they're holding hands and it's the most adorable thing i've ever seen they must be like two and three. Oh god that is so cute they're just holding each other's hands ah you wish for a spot and a spot shall open up for you how perfect is that yeah right i need to go get parking tickets and do my jobs and then go out to amy it's actually three o'clock and i said to amy i would be out to her in an hour that was at one she's gonna kill me kill me dead so finally all my jobs are done and i'm on the way out to amy <laughs> so i'm trying to think what the best route to take now is i'm in traffic now guys my battery is dying so i will talk to all of you in a little bit maybe when i'm home and i'll show you what i got in pennies and yeah i'll talk to you then. Hi guys, 1am, I'm going to bed and I got a couple of packages that I want to show you guys before I do go to bed. My foundation is completely rubbed off of my chin. It's been on all day anyway, so I'm not, I'm not too sad about it. I had such a lovely day. I it was really, really busy. I had so much going on. And then I was spending, obviously, the majority of it out with Amy. And I had such a lovely day with her. Just catching up and chatting. And then doing a couple of little jobs I had to do today. Which is great to kind of get them done. I don't think of anything else I really want to say. I'll just show you what I picked up in pennies. And some pure packages that were sent to me. And then I got to put everything away. Take this makeup off. And get into bed. Because I am hella tired it's 1am right now if I didn't already say that I'm repeating myself because I'm so tired I don't know why I do this to myself stay up till all hours and I know I have to get up early tomorrow because tomorrow is a filming day because I want to get videos done I am low on content and I need to get that filming going so I'll show you what I got in pure and I'll show you what I got in pennies and yeah it's nothing really exciting in pennies I just mostly picked up stuff from the Catrice counter and a couple of little yeah a pair of pajamas and a bra you'll see it in a sec anyway so look at these little packages just all sitting here they're all nicely bundled up <laughs> one's a paper package and then i have this gold one and then a black one on top i can't find my big scissors so i'm just going to use this one i don't know what one this is i feel like it's all one's scissors for something but i'm cutting open these packages i feel like the top one is probably something Oh, I know what this is. I ordered this from Trend Beauty. If it will focus, but it won't. I ordered this from Trend Beauty to test out. want to test out this foundation. It's the Pro Matte Foundation from LA Girl. And I ordered it from Trend Beauty. Took a bit of time to get here, actually, considering Trend Beauty is in Ireland. 
and it took maybe five working days to get to me, which I suppose is not too bad. Usually things are next day delivery if they're in Ireland, but I'm dying to try this. I'm going to use it in full face for some pressure. To see what's in this gold package. Mm, can never get into these lads. Usually L'Oreal products come in this packaging, so. Ooh. Oh my god, it's Urban Decay. This is the Sin palette. I actually featured this in a video the other day, and I said I wasn't gonna buy this because I just felt like it wouldn't go with my skin tone. And now I'm kind of like, hmm, now that it's here, perhaps I will try it out. Obviously for you guys. How do I open this? How do I get into this lead? What it looks like in the flesh, guys. Oh my god. It's actually so much nicer than I thought it would be. This shade and this shade. Oh, and then we have a highlight here. And this is actually a bronzer, which I was worried that it was a dark highlight. The pictures are so deceiving, like online, of this product. I'm actually, that's not going to match me at all. It's way too light. Um, I'm actually so into this. Look, oh my god, look at that. That is beautiful. That is PSA. Those shades are really nice. Oh my god, thank you so much Urban Decay. Wasn't going to pick this up. Now I see it in the flesh. How could I not love it? It is so pretty. Okay, I just said I put the little ring light on just so you can see it a bit better. Ooh, the ring light is falling. I'm going to swatch Sin for you guys. And this PSA. Pretty. Oh my god, they are so pretty. This is really nice. I'm so happy. This is like a matte-ish kind of bronzer. There's a tiny bit of shimmer in it, but it's not like gonna show up on my skin. It's kind of like a like a nice glow, I guess, for like the summer months. I'm very, very impressed with this. Just goes to show you promo pictures can be a bit deceiving. Dying to try this out. But on the back of my hand, I don't know if you can see that there's Sin and PSA highlighter it would focus and look at them oh my god you can kind of see the bronzer I swatched at the top but it's nearly matching my fake tan at the moment I'm so impressed with this cannot wait to use that in full face first impressions it's just a little bit of information on the products the eight hour highlight and blush full and that's just any information you want to know about the product and the final product we have is in this black box what is it that was in the paper wrapping Ooh. and it is from Vichy oh so cool so Vichy oh, I need to turn off the spotlight so Vichy have come out with what are these little sponges look at this this is so cute dear Ashing to celebrate the launch of Vichy's Derma Blend color corrector color correctors please find and close your personal color corrector kit so we have yellow apricot green and purple and these are the products so these are Derma Blend. I have never used these before, but they're color correctors. I'm all about that life, <laughs> especially for underneath my eyes. This peachy one will come in handy. Green is obviously to cancel out any redness. Purple to counteract any, let me see, what would purple be for? I suppose any kind of yellow spots, like any imperfections on the skin. Neutralize your skin, I guess. And then yellow, I guess, underneath the eye, depending on how dark or light your skin tone is like you probably use the peachy one if you have deeper skin tone and then the yellow one if you have a lighter skin tone so i'm sure this will tell me a little bit more okay so this camouflages blue tones including dark circles camouflages brown spots and um, such as under eye bags and hyperpigmentation green is for redness we knew that and then the purple is for neutralizing yellowish and brownish complexion such as dull skin tones wow thank you so much for that vichy vichy <laughs> wow i nearly butchered that there and I love the way the little PR package is like designed for me. It's so personalized. So I am super impressed and will definitely be trying these in a full face first impressions also. These little sponges are just, I know they feel really nice. Obviously the little sponges are for applying the product because they come off. So you can just use them in the actual derma, derma blend. So I'll be using them on camera. Stay tuned. And finally, I'll do my little pennies haul. So first of all, we have makeup products, which I'll show you in a sec. And I got a couple of clothing items. Nothing too extravagant. No, that's my drink, my bit hit. I was drinking that while shopping. So these are the only two clothing items I got. I got a bra, a black one. This is one of the push-up ones. It has extra padding in it because, hello, small boobs issue. And then 
of course I have to get another pair of Marie pyjamas but these ones are the wide legged ones because I do like these as well for a change. I have a pair, they're actually here because I was wearing them this morning, a pair of Bambi ones and they're wide legged. I just, I really like them so for a change and they have Marie all over the bottom of them and you guys know how obsessed I am with Marie. Marie and Chip are my two favourite Disney characters. I'm so obsessed with them. Not my favourite Disney princesses but Disney like obviously inanimate objects and animals. <laughs> I just got a few tiny little bits for accessory, or not accessories, for what you call them, makeup products, which I'll show you in a sec. I got this little plant, not plant, oh my God, I'm saying 1 a.m. and I can't speak. I got this little flower to put by my bed. I just thought it was really nice decorative piece. It was only six euro. The brass, sorry, by the way, was a fiver. And the jammies, I think were... 13 perhaps were they 13 yeah they were 13 focus for me so that was six and just got that to put beside my bed and then i picked up a ton of catrice new products not a ton actually i picked up a few i've seen casey holmes talk about these so many times on her channel they are the wake me up transforming drops or sorry they're the makeup transforming drops from the prime and fine range so we've got lightening drops and then darkening ones these don't change the consistency of your foundation just the shade so i thought they'd be great to use the darkening ones you know in the winter or in the winter in the summertime when my skin might get a bit tanned and then obviously when my skin's a bit paler to use the lightening ones and also I might try mixing this with the Huda Beauty foundation because it does not match me at all and for that reason I don't really like it as much as I should and I can't really wear it that often and I kind of like it was a flop for me so perhaps if I can lighten it I might enjoy it a little bit more so that's just them they were only like 350 I think something like that and then I picked this up you guys know how obsessed I am with if this will focus the rockature mascara and they have rockature eyeliners now so i just picked up the black they had like blue and purple and green but i just said i'd see what i think of the black one first i love the packaging of it just like the mascara i should have picked up the mascara as well what was i thinking because my other one's kind of gone by the wayside so i thought i might try this out to see if i like this better than the essence ink liner because that is my favorite so i said i'd try that i picked up another brow pencil i've gone through so many of these and i love them and then these new products they had these i keep saying these it's pretty annoying they had the liquid metal what are they called liquid metal cream eyeshadows and there was about six shades i think but these two appealed to me the most because they were more like champagne and gold and I just felt like they were more wearable. Like if you want to do like a dark smoky eye, you know, you can add these into the inner corner just to brighten it up. Whereas the other colours were kind of taupey and then there was a really, really pale shade. And then there was kind of like a greeny tinged one, I believe, and like a blue. I just felt like I wouldn't have much use for them. So I picked these two up instead. I just felt like looking at them in store. Look at them there. They're so glistening. I put two on earlier on. They're just kind of up there fading away. But I just felt like from in when I was testing them in pennies that they would be quite similar to the Stila ones you know the ones in the rose gold packaging the what are they called not glitter and glows the other ones that they would be like them in consistency I don't have any light shades in the Stila glitter and glows so I can't exactly compare the shades but I just thought the formula and the texture would be similar and they were just so inexpensive. I think they were only like three euro again. So if I do like these, I might pick up more of the shades. The issue with Catrice I always have is you fall in love with a product, something like this, and they then discontinue it. So you can never get it again and it's infuriating to me. And the only thing that they've actually kept in is some of their pressed powders, which I do like as well, but it's just really annoying when you fall in love with a product and then they discontinue it. Boo. They're just some of the products I picked up from Catrice. Some new, like these two and this is new and the glitter shadows. Obviously the brow pencil is not new, but I just said I'd buy another one because I love it so much. So that's me done and dusted. I'm going to take my makeup off because I'm so tired. I put some lip gloss on my lips because they were so dry and I can't find any lip balm because I need to go buy new lip balm. I'm going to get into bed. I should have showered off my tan earlier on, but I'm changing my sheets tomorrow and I'll just wash my tan off then because there'll be tan on my bed covers possibly. I'm a dirty, dirty girl, clearly, sleeping in tanned bed sheets. But that's what happens when you self-tan and then you don't shower it off because you're 
home at 1am or going to bed at 1am rather. It's enough of me jabbering on. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and I loved talking to you guys today. I need to get my hair extensions done. I can see one of them popping up there. Oh. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the a.m. Maybe not tomorrow, depending on what way filming goes because I have a lot to do tomorrow. But if I do have time, I will try and vlog. And if not, then I will see you the day after. I love you guys. Mwah. Night night. Bye.